perfect, perfect. Down, drive up. Good job, son, let's go. Boy, right, when I pull down, take the bar, pull it down. Keep that upper back tight, right? Yes, sir. Will, make me look good and get that up easy. If it's too light, then put 185 on. I can't believe this. I can't believe Jabari is still number one on bench press. I can't believe it. Stay tight. Stay tight. Boy, stop talking, get down and do your stuff. Let's go. Hips up. Good. All the way. Good. 7-5. Seven, 7-0. Seven, oh. Hey, Neek, that's how you need to be from set number one, though. From set number one, I need you up there. Let's go, Keith. Smoke it. Drive. 6-0. Six, 6-2. Oh. Six, 6-3. Six, Good job. Good job. Exactly like that. What I don't want, all right? Don't drive up on the toes on it. Drive up. 7-2. Good job, son. Evan, you were off balance on that one, man. You had the bar too far this way right here. Make sure when we get underneath it, it's right here because this side, you, you, felt, you, you felt it, didn't you? Show them what you've been doing. Let's go. Good job. Boy, that's it. Okay, there's no truth to the rumor what you're seeing right there. Steve's job is not only to yell at people. He actually <laughs> does a lot more things besides that. Director of Strength and Conditioning here at the University of Colorado, Steve Engelhardt, joining us on the Buffalo Stampede. This is kind of your room, isn't it? This is your kingdom right here? I love it, man. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. We have some fun in here. Well, I have some fun in here. The guys, not so much at times, but they have some fun as well. So when you get guys in here, you're, you know, they come in as freshmen. They're 17, 18 years old, right? They're not even shaving yet. And, uh, you know, they maybe haven't experienced a lot of the way room what's the first thing you do to kind of start molding those guys remember the guys we're getting we're getting guys that are seven foot long <laughs> arms long tips so they probably have never lifted if they did uh their form is not where it needs to be sure and when their form is i call their high school strength coach up and thank them uh and i really and i really mean it from the bottom of my heart because i'm like it's hard to teach those guys how to do stuff properly and right so uh yeah this is where the magic happens right here so is all about weightlifting, but but take us from a technology standpoint. First off, look at this. On uh, one of the racks right here, there's an iPad up here. What, what's going on here? So that uh, we use a new technology, Push. Actually, it's it's been a couple of years uh, since they've been. Uh, since we've been using them, but uh, uh, there's a tracker that goes on the bar and it gives us velocity speed, right? And in season, uh, especially. Uh, you know, when Pac-12 comes around, we want to keep them in like a power phase, right? Which okay. is around uh, 1.0 to 1.3. And you'll see the little charts that we have right here. Okay. I mean, it's, it's all right here. So if we want to, we usually undulate the uh, workouts from 45% to 50% uh, to 55, back down to 35%. You're actually tracking the speed of the bar. We actually are tra tracking the speed of the bar, and, correct. And for what reason? What, what, what's the goal? Well, we, we're trying to get max power out of them. Okay. I mean, force times success acceleration, right? And basically on the basketball court, who's going to get to the ball first, right? Uh -huh. I mean, we, we still want to have, you know, be strong, but we need to get up there and grab the ball as well, right? So, and that's the biggest thing is power. Can we keep power for the whole season? And that's why we undulate it. And that's why we're evidently tracking. We used to just get lucky, but now we're getting right with this technology. So the, the power has got to be there, but the speed with which you get there has got to be there as well. Exactly. So and, and the fastest, strongest guy that goes there gets the ball. Exactly. Yeah. And you see the leaderboard up here and it's, it's right. pretty fun. Uh, because it's like a video game to them. Because every time they hit enter and the set is done, they come in there and be like, all right, Steve, boom. This, like, <laughs> I, did I win? I'm like, not yet. Uh, obviously today we have a week off, so we're kind of dropping it back down. We went to around 60%, 65% and 70% of their back squat. And that's why you don't see the numbers so high, but we had a week off, so we're going back to the, uh, to the strength foundation of what I really believe in. You and know? and the, the strength and the explosiveness yep. then translates to leaping and, and grabbing oh, rebounds of course, on the court. Of course. Uh, I think anything, uh, you just can't be strong and not jump. I mean, uh, you know, that's not basketball, yep. right? I mean, that's, that's more of an old line, like, hey, let's, you know, let's get our hands dirty and I got somebody else pushing me. But in basketball, I, bet I have to do it all. I have to box out, use my lower body. There's the ball. Go get the ball. Right. And that's why we do a lot of different training regimens in here. Fascinating stuff. So not only is it how much can I lift, but then the competition 
amongst, so it really kind of promotes competition as well amongst the guys, even in here, instead of on a basketball. I'm huge on competition. I mean, life is competition, right? And I think if you could put competition in here, especially in season, I mean, it, it makes it even funner and not, not you know, funner word, but like <laughs> what I'm saying, they, they enjoy it more, right? It becomes a game to them. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing is, are they getting better in here during the season? You know, and another thing that we can track is, uh, is on the force plate, on their readiness score. And when we see that RSI drop, we know something's going on with them. And it's like, you know, we see the RSI drop and we see their meters per second drop. It's like, oof. You know, it's got to be, and it, by the way, this isn't kind of interesting for Steve and his staff here. There are a lot of the NBA guys, when they've gotten hurt, have come back to work out with you. That, that's got to mean a lot to you, I would think. Oh, I love it. I think yeah. that, that, you know, what we're doing here as a program, that says a lot about us, what we're doing, and, and how we're, you know, you want to get these athletes better and not only bigger, stronger, faster, but be able to stay healthy year-round. I told you, he does a lot more than just yell at guys, huh? Uh, pretty heavy-duty stuff going on here, literally and figuratively, in the weight room. Steve Egelhart, his uh, assistant, by the way, Adam Ringler, is going to join us next. We continue talking strength conditioning here at the Buffalo Stampede.